Hello, it's the middle of December right now, but I was able to do a night underneath the stars last night without a bivvy. Ooh, you're hard. Because I've got a sleeping bag with a heating element inside it. Let's have a look. This is the sleeping bag in question. It's Avid's Benchmark Thermatech. It's got three heating elements inside it and it's powered from a standard power bank you might use to charge your phone. But before we dive into that bag, I'm gonna show you some new bed chairs that Avid have also launched alongside it. These are the latest versions of Avid's Benchmark series. First launched way back in 2015, they were the first ever bed chairs to feature memory foam mattresses. Now a lot's changed in the six or seven years since those first versions were released and there are plenty of upgrades on the latest versions in front of me. I'm sitting on the standard bed chair without a integral sleeping bag and in front of me is the sleep system with a zip-in sleeping bag. This is also in the X size, so that's the wider size bed chair. The one I'm sitting on is the standard size bed chair. So what's changed? Well, quite a lot in the years since those first ones were released. I've got one of the original Benchmark bed chairs, very comfortable, but very, very heavy. Those early versions had a steel frame. Avid quite quickly changed to an aluminium frame, and that's what we've got on these versions that you see here today. But there are plenty of other upgrades that have gone along the way. Lumbar support was added over those original versions. We've got really good lumbar support on both of these models here. Now, what I'd say is probably the key upgrade on these versions is the leg system. It's unique to Avid. They've clearly spent a lot of time designing it, and it's a sort of ladder and chock system. It's not like the traditional spring-loaded legs you get on many other bed chairs, which can sort of collapse in on themselves as you're setting them up, as you you're reaching to the back of your bivvy, they can be a right pain. These just stop dead in their tracks and they won't collapse in on themselves. They just sort of click down and there's a chock system that stops them dead in their tracks and they won't move once they're set up. On the end of the legs, I've also been really impressed by the mud feet. It might be a simple little thing, but some mud feet can be very sort of floppy and can collapse all over themselves. And just when you think you've got your bed chair properly set up, you notice that one of the mud feet has curled in on itself. These are a lot more rigid. They sort of click into place. So once they're in the flat position you want them to be in, they're not gonna flop around as you maneuver your bed chair. So they stay as level as you want them to be. Speaking of level, these bed chairs have also got built-in spirit levels, so you can get them dead straight if you've got that sort of particular nature about you and you want your bed chair to be as level as possible, then you've got a little bubble in there to show you exactly how level they are. Remember, you've also got those original features like that luxurious memory foam. I think this is even more luxurious than the original one that I've still got. This feels really thick and soft and the beds themselves don't feel too heavy with that aluminium frame, and there are massive throw hinges, which mean even with the standard bed chair, you can put a sleeping bag in and fold it all up with no issues. Now the X in front of me, that's the larger, wider size, and that's with the sleep system, has got eight legs, four sets of two legs. Avid did experiment with going back to three sets of two legs for a six leg design when they were looking to reduce weight on the benchmarks, but these new ones now have got the weight significantly down, and so they've gone back to four sets of two legs. That means that there's plenty of support at either end, and you're not gonna put any undue stress on the hinges of these beds. This is a sleep system, as I say, it's a five season sleeping bag. I've done a few nights in this actually, I've, I've been able to have these two bed chairs for a, a few weeks now, and I've done about three nights in the sleep system, and I found it very warm, very comfortable. The outer is water resistant. You can then reverse the inner duvet, so you've either got a soft sort of lining or a more fleecy lining, and it's a dual layer system, so you can sleep on top of it or underneath it, depending on how warm or cold you are. The zips are really good on the sleep system. I've had no problem getting in or out, no snagging issues whatsoever, and there are really good baffles around the zip, because the zip is the weak point on a sleeping bag. That's where air can get in, cold air can get in and cool you down, but there are good, thick, soft baffles that don't get in the way of the zipping mechanism. So yes, I think we've come a long way from those early benchmark systems. Those early ones were very comfortable, but they were very bulky, almost too bulky. In fact, I put mine to the back of the shed and have rarely used it since, unfortunately. But if this was mine, I could see myself using it quite a lot. Even though it's the wide, even though it's the X version, it's pretty slimline for what it is. It's nicely compact, they've gone back to the eight leg system, so there's no stability issues. Those legs are very impressive, as are the mud feet around them. The zips are good, the sleeping bag itself is hugely luxurious. It's a five season bag, but it isn't too bulky. All in all, the progress level in six or seven years from those early benchmarks is very impressive indeed. 
Now, before we get onto the sleeping bag, remember, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do remember to subscribe to all our social media channels and do check out Carpology competitions where from as little as 99p, you can win some of the best tackle around. So to the sleeping bag, carp fishing's first ever heated sleeping bag, I'm gonna run you through five things you need to know. So there are three heating elements inside the bag. They're all on the base. There's one at the head, the middle, and your feet end as well. Now there are different settings for warmth. And when I first tried this on, I put it on the highest setting and I sat on the bed chair just while I was watching the water and I could actually feel the warmth rising through the sleeping bag. So it's not just handy for when you're tucked up inside it. It can also warm your bum when you're watching the water. I panicked a little bit when I first took this sleeping bag out of its stuff sack because I didn't think I had a power pack that would accept this strange looking cable. Turns out it's just a USB connector that can fit in whichever way up you orientate it. An absolute godsend. I've never seen one of these before. Perhaps I'm the last person on earth to see one of these before. Do let me know in the comments. But why can't every USB lead be like this? It means no fumbling around in the dark. Really easy, a really nice touch. And the cable itself, that's got a woven material around it. Nice and flat. You won't damage this on the bank. Well played, Avid. There's a central strap and hoods at either end to keep this bag firmly and snugly on your bed chair. What I particularly like is at the head end, there's a zip up section where you can store your pillow. That means it stays centrally located throughout the night. And if you jump up to hit a run, it's not gonna fall off and land in the dirt. Now this is obviously a key consideration, but Avid say with a standard power pack, just like the Ridge Monkey that I've been using, they've had 40 hours of continuous heat from a single power pack, which is a huge number when you consider that you don't need to keep the heating elements on all the time. All you really need is to put them on for an hour or so at a time, and then that kickstarts the way a conventional sleeping bag works, which is by using your own body heat to warm the space around you. So when you turn this on, use the heating elements just before you get into bed, give it 15, 20 minutes or so, and it'll be nice and toasty before you get in. Leave it on for an hour or so, and then that's all you really need. You can obviously top that up if you get out in the middle of the night to get a fish. But in terms of power usage, it's very impressive. And even the coldest weekend should be fine on a single power pack. Yep, I'm sure that for many of you, when you initially saw this product, your first thought was, is it safe? Well, Avid have gone through lots of testing with this and you have to jump through lots of hoops to get an electrical product like this accredited and brought to market. Avid have been very open and honest about anglers' safety concerns. They've met them head on on their own social media channels. So do check out their videos on this sleeping bag. And let's not forget the heating elements just like this already exist in other hobbies. It might be a first for the carp fishing world, but motorcyclists have long had heating jackets and they've been heated outdoor coats and gilets for a long time working off exactly the same technology with plug-in power banks so i think you can be pretty confident that you're not going to get into any trouble with this sleeping bag Fundamentally, Avid have created a great sleeping bag in its own right. They haven't chucked some heating elements into a cheap sleeping bag just to say that they've done it and just to get it to market. They've created a premium sleeping bag before you've even plugged in your power bank and turned it on. It's got that water resistant top, those clever hoods at the top and bottom with that zip in pillow section. The zips are some of the best I've ever seen. No snagging issues whatsoever. And it is really warm and toasty before you even think about those heating elements. And you probably won't think about those heating elements when you're lying inside it they don't get in the way they don't they're not uncomfortable and so once you turn it on it feels like a sort of organic heat it doesn't feel like you're being toasted alive in there although it is really warm once you turn them on and the battery life is great as well yes it obviously adds an extra cost and these aren't cheap sleeping bags there's the standard version here or the wider version as well to fit those x bed chairs that avid do but I think this might be the first of many. It might be a bit of a trailblazer, but I think in years to come, we will see a few more carp fishing products like these, maybe heated sleeping bag covers as well to go on the top of standard sleeping bags. And I think this might be the first of a new generation of heated products.